All right, construction cronies, welcome to another video. This is uh, going to be a little bit of a different video, but it's all metal stud framing. Vid, uh, I'm doing some bulkhead work here. There's a, there's a, there's still a couple of things here. I, I figured I I put together a video and and uh, show you a couple of different techniques. I haven't had a chance. You can see there's the prints. We got a bul uh, demising wall in a bulkhead and a bulkhead across the ceiling uh, across the cooler there. Um, we 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 did a totally custom uh, bulkhead. So check this out. It's a funky bulkhead. Uh, it's like an L-shaped bulkhead, and it's angled. So the the main thing is is getting it laid out on the ground and beaming up the the the, the top track. Okay, so you can um, it's just yeah get started, get everything laid out on the ground, and you can see how many lasers we got going here, and uh, just you'll you'll see this uh, this bulkhead complete at the end. But uh, the point here is to just you know get it get it laid out in the ground and then visualize it up in the up in the air and you'll you'll be able to figure out, out you know where you need to put angle and different track and whatnot right so that's a it, this one looks really cool wait do you see this one complete this is a this is a nice looking bulkhead but uh, there's the the demising wall here and there's a uh, it transfers uh, from six inch to three and five eighths there at the end in the bathroom. And like you can see at the top there, we got slot track at the top. It's underside of structure, so always slot track up there. Um, yeah, simple as that, right? It's a plumbing wall. That's why it's six inch. And um, it just simply, uh, if you can, I'll pause it for a second here. I'll just kind of show you when you're doing a transition like this. In in the corner here is where we 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 stopped it. Okay, so this three and five wall coming in here. There'll be a floater, in, or sorry. There'll be an end stud here, sorry, a corner stud there, and a floater stud on the six inch side. And the 16 on the six inch, right, will be picked up on the other side. So 16, 32, 48, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So you don't stop and start a new 16s, okay? Because the board's gonna go straight across over here. And yeah, and then basically you're just gonna beam up and copy the exact same track on the top as you would on the bottom. Now, this uh, six inch side is all the way up to underside of structure, whereas this three and five side uh, heading out this way is only, uh, I think we went like 10 feet with it. So we built the ceiling and, and everything for, and plywooded the ceiling as well for uh, storage for the guys. So uh, just a little, little, uh, little tricks there for, you know, transition. Same thing if, if, you know, you're just simply in the middle of a wall transitioning, okay, that's how, how you hide it, right? Just put it in the corner like that, and you you, you just ex usually try to extend that out as far as you can. You can see at the top, we, it will end up, uh, it doesn't even matter actually at the top, because the, the, the second wall, it only goes up 10 feet, right? And here is the, I have a jig too coming up. I'm going to show you this jig in a second. Uh, it'll come up too. Um, but... This we checked elevation of the, of the cooler and it is perfectly level. Uh, the elevation is nice and smooth all the way across. So we're we're trying to hide the rod is inside the bulkhead. So we're just simply cu cutting, you know, track to go in the bottom. I'm gonna tr cut track for the for the top and, and I'm gonna measure in between all those rods and, and the those those rods are not straight. So the measurements are a little bit different as you go. The same thing as always, right? Just get steel in everywhere you can. And what I mean by that is, like, in the, in the ends there, I always keep those studs a quarter inch up, right? Always keep your studs a quarter inch up from your track. But, yeah, you just laser it in, and you go as high as you can and get steel as, as much on much of the walls as, as you can, right? You obviously, when the spray foam is there, you can't do that, okay? But, yeah, you can kind of see here, this will be the same idea, right? The drywall will slip in here, and... Um, you know, when you're coming out of a track like this, okay, you take your 16s from the, the inside here going this way, and when you're taking your 16s going this way, you add a half inch uh, or 5 eighths, depending on what size of drywall. Okay, if it's double layer, you add an inch and a quarter, uh, right? So you go 16 half this way, and, and then, or this way here, you'll go 16, right? And you see right there, the way I'm going right now, that'd be like 16 half. Yeah, and and we were we were able to screw right to the freezer on this one, and simple. So this guy wanted a little return coming in, uh, to hide like the I don't know. They're gonna put some millwork down there. Those are clips. Those are the clips that go in the flutes. So when the the track doesn't land on your flutes, you can't screw it in. Just cut cut clips like that. You know, the studs are the best clips. You can use flat stock as well, um, but I would use the uh, studs over over track for sure. Just more rigid, right? 
and I'm using uh, self-tapping wafers to screw into the Q-Deck. And then uh, with the light gauge uh, steel, uh, I can use um, the phosphates, the, the regulars, right? The black ones. So I always, always got uh, some of each kind in my pouch when we're framing. Because when you're going to structure like that, you know, you need, you need the heavier gauge ones. And the, uh, yeah, the, 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 like when you're just screwing in your normal studs, you just use the phosphate pointies, right? And they're all number eights, I believe, number eight wafers. So, but yeah, dudes, I, I try to, I always put my four screws in my clips and, uh, and then like two in the clip through the track, right? So. It's uh, it's pretty good, man. Just try, like I'm saying, get you just gotta put steel everywhere, right? And get it in as tight as you can. And um, you know, if you if that beam for say landed on a 16, you could put a header in, and uh, put your uh, 16 un underneath the beam type thing, right? So yeah, just keep watching. I think the jig's coming up pretty soon here. Uh, you, you guys, I know some guys were asking about that. Yeah, pin laser right on the shaving the beam, always shaving the beam, right? And then, yeah, I'll just simply transfer up my center marks. And the this roof is, is like, sloped in towards the center. So, um, yeah, all the studs are different sizes, of course. And, but, yeah, you can see there I'm just writing my my measurements, right? I, I, I measure every stud right there. Those are the numbers. And, uh, yeah, I just make a list and take it down with me. But there's how I do it, right? I use two pin lasers in between the rods to put the uh, top track on. You know, simple as that. And then, of course, on the ends there, you got your uh, your line laser to shoot in your your um, your wall stud, right? But yeah, you can see Murat there. He's putting in the headers, so headers are going in underneath those uh, those pipes because the six scenes are. You don't move over your six scenes, right? You always keep them. Um, there's the jig. Okay. Let me. Oh, I need to get out this guy. Let me pause this for a second if I can. So jigs are pretty easy. Uh, what I've done here is I use my two foot square and I've squared the inside here. And when when you're doing uh, like screwing studs together, they're they're twice double thick. So you just put two two by fours on the sides. You know, just put wood wherever you. Uh, I, I'm even even on this side right here at the bottom. I got a steel stud there, right? I'm screwing it to the sheet of plywood. And um, it, what it's doing is I cut these pieces all the same sizes, okay? And and then, yeah, I, I have to screw, like, however many of them together, like 50 of them, we'll say. So it just make a quick jig, and then boom, 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 boom. It's just so much quicker uh, screwing them together uh, with the jig than, uh, you know, this is a really simple one. This is just a square, but you can make jigs for all kinds of cool stuff. Like, you know, like I've done some really crazy ones for parapets and stuff like that. And uh, we call uh, we call making them pret making pretzels, you know, uh, pretzels for parapets, right? But yeah, you'll see how this goes here. And then, yeah, that top track, you can see it's all both sides are sloping down in towards the middle. So and there look at that bulkhead there is finished. Marat's uh, finishing up the, the dance floor there, but. This is the bulkhead. Look how beautiful it is. And that's what I mean. Like, get just get steel in line everywhere you possibly can, you know. And the shooting it to the beam like that and getting it screwed to the Q-deck gives it so much strength, right? And it's just beautiful. That turned out really, really nice. So angle on the bottom there, track on the top. Uh, and then the mirror, right? We had the layout already on the ground. Then we just copied it for the floor there. Right? It's the same thing for the floor. That's where the, the cash register will be, right? But, yeah, yeah, that's how the jig works, right? Just make sure your pieces are in nice and snug, and it keeps them perfectly square, right? You just beat it down to the line there, and then they're all going to be in line when I, when I put them into the bulkhead at the top above the freezer. They're all going to be perfect. And we've already checked the elevation on the, the cooler, and it's perfect. It's perfectly level, so we can go right off the bottom of it because he just wants that to come out. And, and so we can drywall and, and, you know, he wants a little reveal there to put lighting and to shoot up in, up to the bulkhead, I guess, at the end. You'll see here in a, in a second what it looks like. But, yeah, man. And then, yeah. So on your end studs, they're simple, right? You're just going to carry it through. I've marked my 16s out on the cooler. And, that, and then that's it, right? I just put them in. I'm putting a screw in the, in the track there at the top. And then I'm putting a screw in the freezer here on the bottom and every 16 inches and then i cap it with my track just keep the track nice and tight look at that it's perfect right i cut all those pieces the same size and i put them on 16 inch centers drywall will go on no problem he has this little trough there i've angled out the corner 
and I've carried it all the way around to the other side. Yeah, it's super strong. It'll it'll look good at the end of the day, right? So, but yeah, look at how beautiful that is. Right, looking good, guys. So yeah, don't forget to watch this video right here. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. You guys know I get back to everybody. This is Chris. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.